Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking beauty on a, beauty on a budget, full face of one brand tutorial, and today we are doing Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is a brand based in the UK, and they sell in Superdrug and on their own website. Um, I used a full face of their products today. Basically, like every product I used was new to me, so it's a full face of kind of like first impressions as well, you could say. Um, but if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So, um, before we get into this video, I'm going to do a quick disclaimer. Um, all views on the products and the overall look and everything, it's all my own. Um, I've not in no way been paid to do this or being influenced to do this. This is all totally my opinions. And if you got on with some of these products that I don't or anything like that, um, you go for it. If you vibe with this, then you go for it. I'm just going if it works for me personally. As a makeup artist, I need to like give that side of it as well for any like makeup artists or up and coming makeup artists. So just thought I'd get that out there. And also as well, not my whole, my whole order didn't turn up. So. I ordered off of Superdrug and not every single thing came. After I placed my order, not everything was available, obviously, because things are quite limited in stock. So if there is anything that hasn't came, then I've used an alternative drugstore or affordable alternative for it, if that makes sense. This is Louise base under all my eyeshadows. I actually have used that as my eyeshadow base today to give the eyeshadows a fair test base. It is very usable price. It is £10 for the tube. It is a big tube, it'll last you a lifetime. Put the description box full of all the products and things and that'll have all the prices because I can't remember them off the top of my head. They were very inexpensive, I think, for the full face of makeup. I think it was around £60, so you honestly can't complain. For my eyeshadow, I am using the Revolution Times Roxy Roxaurus ride or die palette now this palette has 18 shades what the inside of the palette looks like as you can see quite warm tone and then the green in the bottom corner which i was really like intrigued by so this is why we went for a green i'm taking the shade draco which is the green on a little pencil brush and i'm creating like a spotlight you kind of shape eye with it and i'm just gonna pop this on the outer and inner of my eye brands do collabs um with like influencers youtubers that sort of thing you never know like what is being promoted to you so i thought if i give it a go and see how i like it the revolution do a lot of palettes so they within revolution you have sub brands so within the revolution brand you've got makeup revolution Re revolution pro and i heart revolution but they're obviously all made by the same company and um, sold on the same website. So with everything that's going on just now, stocks are quite limited. Um, but I was so annoyed, so much of the stuff that obviously I was told I couldn't get. As soon as I got my partial yesterday, I went on and checked and they're all back in stock. But because I wanted to get this video out for you guys, then I had to kind of improvise, but that's fine. We're not mad. Most of the things this year, all the important things this year, so as you can see, like this colour is packing on really nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's patchy at all. Um, it's quite an even colour and it's definitely the exact same colour as what I've seen in the pan. So I'm not, it's not changing any, it's not oxidising any. The only thing I would say though, there is quite a mess in the pan. Um, but I am quite messy when it comes to looking after my makeup. I think as well, I just dumped my brush straight in there. Um, Cause I'm usually like, not in a rush, but I'm usually, I can work quite a fast pace purely because obviously when I'm doing clients and that it's all like bish bash bosh get it done so yeah I would say they are really pigmented but a lot of the pigments come off in the pan I'm gonna go in with the shade cookie which is like a medium kind of like a light brown um to blow out the edges so I literally just put it on either side and I just go over the whole top of this now I think this is where like I kind of started to get disheartened um, in the palette. So why do I usually kind of do this sort of thing with the regular eyeshadows I use? They like automatically blend, create like a seamless like transition from colour to colour. Whereas I felt this like patched over the colour quite a lot. I don't know if that makes sense. But when I planned this look out in my head, I wasn't planning on doing it with this video, if that makes sense. Um, I was planning on doing it with 
another video and I knew what strands I was going to use, I knew the outcome and uh, I wouldn't say this palette gave it to me but yeah, I'm not sure about this exact shade. I think there was like a missing tone in this palette. I used to really work from just one eyeshadow palette either. I always kind of swap and change and have like single shadows lying about in bronzers and, and the original plan was like, oh, if any of the shadows don't work because I've transitioned shade, I'll use my bronzer. What was one of the products that didn't come? A bronzer. So I'm just literally taking my fluffy brush and going for the whole lot. I'm not bringing it out because I've been doing one dark weeks in my past ones. I've just wanted to keep this one quite grungy. My clean fluffy brush and I'm just like blending out those edges a little bit. This is where I kind of start to feel the palette lets itself down. So this palette loves obviously like that colour peel off getting pressed onto the sticky base. Amazing. You try and blend it away and the whole thing like disappears. So I've had to blend and build so many times. Um, I've mentioned this in quite a lot of my videos. I also go back and forth between colours quite a lot to get the colour payoffs that I get. So um, yeah, I was quite upset how much it blends away. But see, after building up and stuff, totally fine. Um, so I'm just gonna go between that two shades. I might just like speed over this a little bit because um, I have to do this quite a lot of times, but I'm literally just going between the shade Drago and Draco, Draco, Draco and Cookie. So going between the green and the light brown and literally just building up. This whole palette was 10 pounds and to be fair, like that works out like, like 90, 80 something pounds per shadow, which is it? Yeah, 80 something pounds per shadow, which I'm not being funny, you can't argue with that. I'm gonna go in with the shade Cola, which is like a darker brown, just deepen up that side um, for the spotlight, so it really stands out. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I'm actually gonna try doing base first today, but I'm quite glad I never, because I don't think, um, I don't think there would have been a video. I think I'd have cried because I'm out of fucking. I'm so dramatic. Just like pressing this over and then starting to like blend it a wee bit. And that's what's deepened up the colour from like a kind of more brighter teal to a khaki because originally I thought this was going to come in more khaki than it was. So. Oh my god, what green on my forehead is down there. I'm just going to wipe off that excess because I've got. A lot going on down there and I just want to be able to see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to go in with Flawless Foils Makeup Revolution Shade Retreat and it's like a khaki like goldy brown and it comes with this like little like liquidy oily stuff. I've put in that stuff it's really liquidy and it's quite oily like it's kind of jelly in it. It reminds me like of like a pot of mud. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really selling this, but <laughs> the consistency is the most bizarre thing I've ever used. Like, okay, like the shimmer on it, but it is really oily, like quite unworkable. Like, see when I'm wiping it off on the towel, like it's a right nice color and it's a right nice texture. Right. Obviously, like going through all that hassle to do your eyeshadow and then. It, for it to mess up, just miss this out and find like a pigment or use a shimmer eyeshadow because I'm not sure how I feel about this at all. Like it's given me a nice base, don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't rush to get them. Like I thought, oh, is this going to be my new thing, like to get in my kit? I can't really say it's going to be. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Mars from the palette, which is like a rose goldy kind and it's next to that um, Draco, I'm going to press that all over the top like I did this on the other side. I like to layer when I'm doing like tornado spotlight eyes because I think that's how you get their tornado y look. And I like to bring it up really high like into my eyebrow basically to get a full tornado. I not say that this is like in any means bad because like I know it's not bad, it's just not is maybe neat and perfected is what I usually would go for. Does that make sense? I don't know. Back in with that stuff. What's it called? Flawless, flawless foils, that's what it's called. And I'm just layering on top. Um, I like 
to layer, so. That's something I would say about your ears. You leave it laid in, but the more it dries out, the better. Like, I think it's better when it's on verge of needing, like, more liquid in the pot. So maybe that's how we have using it, is, like, putting the liquid down, letting it sit for, like, 10 minutes or so. So this was one of the products that didn't actually show up, which I was quite glad about because I wanted to try a new liquid liner, but it's okay because I used the Maybelline Last and Jama one, which is super affordable. It's like 4 99 or something. I used the same base and I'm literally going to go in with the same colours, um, Cookie, Drago and Cola. And I'm going to start with Cookie and just go underneath. I always think this is so hard to show on camera though because I'm just going in this cream colour. So like, no, I don't do the brush blend on my under eye. Um, I feel it gets quite messy that way. But that's my personal opinion. But I'll tell you something. I'm glad I've done the brush blending on the top because the colour like payoff is like not great. Of this green on top of the cookie shade. I'm going to go in with cola and a winged eyeliner brush. The um, reason for this is I thought this was going to cause a lot more payoff because it's a tighter, tighter bristle brush, but uh, no. <laughs> eyeliner. This is where something else went wrong. <laughs> so eyeliner did not come in the package. Um, Revolution Pro to these gel, what are they called? Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner. I ordered the brown one as a lip liner because I often do that, but now I'm going to use it in my eye line as a water lens, the black one never came and then I'm going to resharpen it for doing my lips. Um, I'm going to pop off camera and do this because I can't get this in my water line on camera. Absolutely no complaints with that eyeliner. I think it was something like 2 99 or £3 and works amazing. I'm going to go in with that foil on the same brush and I'm literally just going to pop this like on my under eye. Um, I like doing this but I've never really done it in quite a while so... Um, this worked amazingly for this. This was the annoying thing. Um, so I think these, this product maybe just takes a bit of playing around to get used to the texture and how it likes to be sat. Just go from inner to about like a third of the way in. The The Mascara Revolution um, in shade black. I love mascaras to me um, when you wear falsies. Like, it's just whatever will coat your lashes, blend them in. We'd buy it again, definitely. Actually, no, I'm dating this. Right, let's go on to skin. I never noticed through that whole video that that light was on and my bottle was in the background and it totally reflected the light in the wrong bit time. It wasn't all bad, but we will look is for my like before foundation. I don't say primer because it's not a primer. Getting that out there is the Revolution um, Liquid Highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. Now, I actually used to use this all the time. I ran out of it maybe just before lockdown and I just never did purchase because I like, didn't expect like, lockdown to happen and here we are. But anyway, I like to use this all over my face. It is a total dupe for Iconic London Drops. It's a total dupe for um, Cover FX drops. Honestly, I've used them all. They all do the same thing. Save your dollar, get the Revolution one. These are a big thumbs up for me. foundation it's totally fine so speaking of foundation i'm gonna go in with the revolution conceal and define in the shade f9 now i've got a wee thing to talk about with this so with the conceal and define concealer i've always found the like tapes that go around the top exact like color right this is the color they've tried to tell me my foundation was going to be right that's the actual color First thing to note is, yeah, 
don't trust the like labels going around the top because that is completely wrong. I took the shade F9, but I'm not sure this is gonna match. So this is a full coverage foundation, is what they're claiming. It is matte from what I can I read online actually. It is the matte foundation. Um so I'm gonna take this. The, right. This might be seen as handy, but for me it actually gives me the heavy jeeps because I just have visions, like see thing is, see my like I just have, have visions of this like spot put up with like, this is just like there. asking for but, spots. But it is quite annoying. I don't know. Oh this feels weird. And I feel like you don't get a lot of foundation on the like Okay, it's a good colour. It's quite pinky, but you don't get a lot of foundation on the like sticky thing. Hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not sure how much I should really be putting on. This is Not saying that's not an option, because that is an option. Right, okay, I actually think it's a little too light for me. Which I'm quite shocked at because when I was on that, I'm not gonna complain about that. I think I just like kind of mismatched well, the colour. It is quite light, light thing, but then the maybe I've just got to accept the fact that my tan is fading. If anyone has this foundation and knows, please let me know. Again, I'm literally popping it on my dry beauty blender. I use this for all my foundation, so um to give something a fair test, I've got to use the same tools and stuff as I usually would because that can affect. to carry about it. Now I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. So Conceal and Define Rain does have a concealer which I've used before, used on clients, got it in my kit, love it. But I thought I would give this whole Conceal and Hydrate range a little bit of a go. They do have a foundation that goes with this but, but I thought out. I'll stick to the, like, the Define that. Concealer and I'll try the Hydrate. Not Look at the size of this concealer. Amazing. And I think it was like £4. It's amazing. I got it straight C5. C. Right. Let's just talk about this. How is that a 5 but that's a 9? I'm not sure how I feel about this. I actually feel like just caking my whole face. Foundation and concealer together. Match made in heaven. I'm happy with that. No complaints whatsoever. Just the colour, but that's I'm literally like the foundation's not bad. Like I would not say it's bad. Like I think this is actually quite a decent foundation. It looks nice on my skin. Like I wouldn't say like it doesn't enhance the texture that I've got any more than like any other foundation. So that's fine. And this hurt this can start Okay. I'm loving this. Um this concealer is amazing. Honestly. Stick in shade F13. Do my fault. This is a wider bar for me. Now I'm gonna go I in with the eye part round shade. Want to make it look coconut nice. scent and I'm powder just powder now. Stuff. I didn't choose this because it was. Cool. I love this stuff. As we're wondering, it is currently like half past ten on a Saturday night. But no, actually, but I don't um, think I've done a nice job. Came in the last night. Now, so cream. Con Fabulous. So I'm gonna go back in that baking powder and use it all over my face now. This could be like the worst nude I think I've ever made, but it'll be fine. I've got hopes. You just love it lightly dust it over. Right, so that foundation is basically set on its own, like because it is that full coverage. And it'll be interesting to see if this has got flashback. Um Rondor never came, as I mentioned. Um, so I'm just going to go in my Doll Beauty one. The Revolution Blusher Reloaded in the shade Coral Dream. Now this looks like crazy, but the concept is if a blusher is crazy, you only need a little amount, then you're winning because it'll last longer. But just be careful. So I'm just going to take the okay. smallest amount because that okay is really pigmented. And I'm going to place this on the top of my cheekbones. I like, see, right, I like a lot of blushers, so this doesn't really scare me. But when I opened the parcel, mum was like, Robin, what on earth did you order? It's neon pink. I was like, it's not, oh, okay. 
I was like, it's not neon so well, you would think it. Okay, thanks for that. So, the verdict is you've got to be literally light-handed with this. Don't don't ham like I did. Okay, <laughs> so blusher, thumbs up. I like it. I'll be using it again. Thumbs up. Revolution, right? Highlight urge. This was highly like when people said when I said I was doing a makeup revolution, so many of you guys replied to my Instagram so been like, oh my god, highlight urge. I was like, yes, I know, I can't wait either. So this is the Revolution Rose Quartz Highlighter. Now the packaging this came in was absolutely stunning. Like I mean stunning. <laughs> so I'm literally just taking my brush and I'm just gonna pop this everywhere that I usually highlight, which is like tops of my cheekbones. <gasps> oh my god, right. Okay. I'm sold. This is like right, the colour of this, right? Oh my god, what? Is it pink? This is maybe is like this goldy is what I'm used actually. to because it's rose gold but I think that's in the name no something name. right this is my fault but it's a lot more this natural than I'm used to and I think it doesn't help like it's not a bad thing because I thought I was going overboard but I'm not gonna this is what I'm going to do nice. this could be where it goes on I'm going to take the shade that I used in my inner corner it's called like iconic it's not like the most like 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 brush just a little bit and highlight reminds me of MAC Softening. This is where my multi use of products come in. I like to use products in different ways that they're not actually meant for, but this is sometimes where you find the best of hacks. I'm just gonna mix this in. It's just a first off reference. Like the highlighter is beautiful, but it's just really natural. Like I could imagine that with so many brides. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is now a bit of me. I'm liking this, I'm not, I'm not mad. So, set and spray. You all know, Avon set and spray is my ride or die. Use it in every video, use it in my favorite video, and um, yeah, there's no other if, buts, what about it. This is the Revolution Base Fix Makeup Fixing Spray. I've got here. So I'm just gonna drench my face now, I don't really know what else there is to use. So. Of like, it smells like I don't know. Maybe future me edit and it'll put in like a wee like text box. See, I'm expecting a lot of things from my edit in future stuff. It's not gonna happen. But yeah, melts together products nicely. I'm up for that. Now, whilst that's set, I'm gonna do my lips and then I'll go back to the whole eyebrow situation because we need to explain about that. Anyway, lips. So. As I briefly mentioned, I've had to go and resharpen my eyeliner pencil because all the new lipsticks online, every lip liner was sold out, unless I wanted like bright orange. And because I like thought like, oh, will I use that green? Like that was always in the back of my head, even though I didn't know I was gonna do this, if you know what I mean. I thought no, but I'm gonna use an eyeliner. I do this quite a lot actually. Like, I've got a couple of eyeliners I like to use. So I'm gonna use this to outline my lips. Now, this is quite dark. I'm not gonna lie. But doesn't help my lips need done like a that. Might do that tomorrow actually. Okay, so we're going like a total nineties lip, but that's fine. That went really creamy. Happy with it. Now I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Makeup Revolution 
matte lipstick in the shade Vow. Like, this is a beautiful shade. Considering the liner situation is technically my fault. Can't use it. I like that lipstick. I like that a lot. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, <laughs> this liner, way too dark. This lipstick, bomb. But I think. I like that a lot. Now I'm gonna go in my lip gloss. Again, I kind of got my colors all on this, so this was not what I expected. But clear gloss, that was really nice. So I'm gonna go in with this is a darker nude revolution pro hydro gloss with like collagen, nice. hyaluronic acid, and peptides. I'm gonna give that a yes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Sunning, um, which is quite dark, but this might help match my um, lip liner situation. Hmm. I think it looks cool, so we're sticking with it. Now I'm gonna use the same mascara in my eyebrows. I'm just wiping off the excess. Because it's quite a new mascara, it's gonna be quite black, so yeah. Wiped off my excess, just fluffing through my brows. Um, I've got a brow routine up on my channel. Um, I've just been liking like, soft brow, like when I've got quite grungy eyes just now, so that's why I'm not filling them in. If I was filling in, I used the Revolution Pot Pomades anyway. But again, if you want an in-depth brow tutorial, have a look over on my previous video. A dedicated video to that. I've it on this. Now, lips, darker than what I expected and darker what I'm used to. But the products are nice and I would wear this lip combo again. I just think I'm looking quite e-girl with the whole space bun, dark green, dark lip. Yeah. I think that's an like yeah. mascara looks main good. Point when it comes that foil thing. We start from the start. I'm on edge about that. I'm not sure how I feel. You know what? Um, this I don't know how it's going to be. I think for any ten pounds for all this, that, like any time, you know, it's just one to buy. Me, if you're not a big makeup reader and you've got to work with, you can get to more expensive things or teach me your ways. Think right. I'm not one for eyeshadow, but if you try with this, be good. Um, foundation, like, totally. oh God, I think this is a good one. Foundation, like, I think it looks nice, not offensive. Um, wrong colour, but that was partially my fault and partially the website because I don't want to take responsibility for that. Um, it's quite pink toned. Concealer, oh my gosh, right. <laughs> it's amazing. Get that concealer in your makeup bag. It's amazing. Powder, like, powdered my skin nice. Happy with that. Um, obviously, con um, contour, I love that anyway, so no difference. Um, blusher is nice, just got to be a little bit careful with it. Um, highlighter again, nice, very natural though. Um, so I'd also mix in, that was personal preference, so you know, it's up to you. Um, setting spray was nice, I think it melted things together quite nicely, I would say so. And brows, fine, it's the same mascara. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Like, I don't think it's the best makeup look I've ever done in my life. I'm not saying that. But would I buy it? Why would I? <laughs> would I invest in Makeup Revolution? Yeah, I would. Like, all these products together work really well. So I'm intrigued to see how these work with like other products. If I swap them in and out with my kit to do like different with different products and things. So if you see these popping up in my videos more, you'll know I like them. But yeah, overall, this gets a stamp approval from me. Like I'm quite happy to use this stuff. And to be honest, price-wise you can't complain. Can beauty be done on a budget? Of course it can.